What is going on guys? Jimmy here once again in Hearthstone. I've been having a lot of success today with my Paladin deck and I thought I should play some more games. This time, not casual, we'll go for a few ranked games. And um, yeah, I've gone on like a 5 game win streak, I've gone up to rank 21. And um, all of it off camera of course, so now that I'm recording I'm probably going to lose. But I did get a few nice cards in my Paladin deck, I got the Argent Commander I think it is. And um, some other new cards, so it's pretty sweet, man. We're gonna play, try and rank up again some more. Yeah, I've been having a lot of success with this deck. Um, I think I've managed to, to build a balanced deck between lots of uh, small that we can buff up. And um, it works well with a paladin that can summon that annoying 1 1 squire type thing. Who are we up against? Error. Okay, that's not a bad starting hand, I guess. I do like the Dragonling mechanic. Uh, we are going first, however, and we can't play anything. But I do want to hold on to the Imp Master and the Shattered Sun Cleric, which is, I think, is one of the best cards. I love this card. Um, we'll hold on to that. I mean, we can't play anything at the beginning too, too much anyway. We'll just get our, um, I'll reinforce whatever in the next turn. Let's go ahead and end our turn and see what Garrosh has in store for us. What is this card I got? Consecration, that's a good card to have late on in the deck when he's got maybe a big board full of low health characters. Oh man, I love this card. Uh, summon a 2-1 damage golem when he dies. So we're just going to get our guy out here. Just have something on the board that he has to waste a card on and to take it out maybe. And um, next turn we're probably going to play the Imp Master. Oh, I'll get the Harvest Golem out early. Because that's a pretty good card to play early on I think. And then if he doesn't kill that, we can buff it up and get our Imp Master. And what is this? Has charge? Oh, well I don't have a weapon bro, so that's a pretty lousy card. I can trade my my um, my Silver Hand Recruit for that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Harvest Golem out, I think, and then we'll just trade off uh, that card there. Uh, let's see here. I do want to get the Imp Master out. That might be a better choice uh, early on. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the... Uh, is that a good idea? No, we'll go again and play the Harvest Golem. And then we'll trade this. There we go. That was a pretty good trade, I think. Kind of wasted his card there. That's the annoying thing about Paladin. You can just keep getting these uh, recruits out. And when you have card like um, Stormwind Champion or something like that, or the Raid Master, is it? That gives plus one attack to everything. You can really get these guys up to a decent attack. Even if they have like a 3-2 or 3-1 with buffs. That's where I've been having a lot of success when I'm getting a lot of smaller cards out. When he takes damage, he draws a card, I think that, that card is. Yeah. So, let's see here. Mm, we could do the Shattered Sun Cleric to buff this guy and you can take him out. That would be a good thing to do, I think. Uh, or we can get our Dragonling mechanic out. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> we might just ignore this card altogether. It's not really doing us much. Um, e yeah, let's go ahead and ignore that. We must Buff this guy up. Yes, maybe we can give him. Yeah, let's go ahead and buff him a bit more. This is probably not the smartest play, but we're gonna go ahead and put some pressure on him, maybe. And hopefully that'll put some pressure on him. You'll have to use a lot of cards to take that out and then this card oh my god is one of my favorites when you got a lot of minions on the board this card is a beast okay so he's gonna go ahead and take that out straight away he's gonna trade that card off I don't mind that I get my damage golem out which he's gonna have to waste his minion on I can oh no it's a 1-1 one, one. I can trade that off maybe um, or I can use my consecrate my consecration no that would be a waste aha now that is a nice card to play in this situation. Or I could get my Imp Master and a Silverhand Recruit out. Yep, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll just get some board control here and then maybe if we we play that in the next hand maybe. So let's see, let's just go ahead and destroy this card I think. Or do I we just want to ignore it? No, we kind of want to want to clear the board here. Yeah, alright dude, what you got for me? So we got four cards on the board. If he 
I don't think he's got much area of effect spells. He does have a big card advantage. He hasn't really played much. Uh, he d if he d I don't think a warrior does have much of an area of effect spell, does it? You can take out a lot of my guys with that. Let's see here. What do I want to do next? Maybe get my fossil floor war warlord out, maybe. What's this you got? You gonna take my... Alright, fair enough. That's cool. I can deal with that. Um, let's see. Hmm. Interesting. I got a few cards that I can play. Depends on what he does now. Which will decide my next play. Come on then, son. Aerok, what you got for me? Oh yeah. Very nice. Alright, it's not too bad. I guess I'll have to play my Dragonly Mechanic now. Or my Silver and Knight. Mm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's see, I could play that. That'll give me... Although he's got a sweet attack there. Which I just want to... Um... Alright, let's play a Dragonly Mechanic, and then we'll get another Sylvan Recruit out. And then we got some nice cards in our deck here. We got that which we can use if we summon a, a big monster out. Because we are getting to some big mana here, 6 mana. The big guy's gonna come out soon. You're gonna have to watch out for that, the warrior does have a bit of late game power. Okay, he's gonna go straight for me, not too bad. I can trade off my Recruit there with him then. Oh yeah. That is a nice card to have. Uh, I do want to have that buff though, in all honesty. Um, let's see here. I could get this this guy out and a minion. That'll give me four cards. I can play this guy next. Or I can get a recruit out now and get that out and then I'll have a 8-8. Hmm, I'll have an 8-8. Eight, 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 eight. Right, okay, this is interesting. Let's just go ahead and trade. No, hold on. Yeah, this is... Hmm. Is that a good play? Is that a good play? I could use Consecration, kill both of them, and then trade these two with this. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and do that. No, that's a silly play. What am I thinking? Okay, let's go ahead and put some pressure on him. Okay, we'll trade that off here. Oh, he has Taunt. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna have to trade um, most of our guys off, although we do have... Hmm, not, not, not the best play. I kind of panicked there. I forgot that he had Taunt. That was really silly. Um, but we do have an AA out, and we can get either the Argent Commander or the Silver Knight out next. Oh, he's got another Taunt. Oh. Okay. He's chipping away at my health. I'm not too worried though. Um, we still got Consecration. That's a really silly play. Um, let's see here. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Argent Commander. I'll have Squire out as well. We're gonna have to trade this guy, I think. We can play the storm, and that'll be a good play to do, actually. Um, this I'm taking really long here. Yeah, let's go ahead and play this guy, and then we'll have to take out. We'll have to take him out. That's pretty. But we do need to get some board control here. Then we get another. Silver hand. Recruit out. There we go. Okay, so this guy's pretty vulnerable. I would have liked to have uh, a taunt card out because he's probably going to get rid of this guy now, which, which is not brilliant. Okay, what's this? Gurba, okay. Gains three when, when I attack it. Not too scary. I can ignore him for the time being unless he attacks it himself and buffs it. Let's see here. Alright, he's gonna take care of my Silver Knight. Yeah, that's gone. Oh well. If this guy survives, that'll be good. Um, I'm gonna probably ignore this guy for now, although I'm pretty afraid that you'll buff him. But let's see what we can do here. Um, 
So let's see. We can do that and go in with. Let's see here. Two, six, no. Um. Yeah, we can't do that, can we? Let's see here. Let's go ahead and use this on uh, on him. I'll take him down to three, and then we can. Ah, oh, that was really silly. We're gonna have to use that now, and then we'll trade our recruit for him. Uh, let's go ahead and buff this guy just so I can get some damage on him, and that'll put some real pressure on him. Because if he doesn't, if he doesn't kill me off in this hand, I can probably kill him off. If he doesn't destroy my weapon, I've got charge and I've got a weapon. But he's put a taunt monster on. Okay. As long as this guy survives, I will be happy. Although I probably don't think he's gonna survive. He's gonna. Hmm. Okay, not too bad. He's got some shield on him now. Right, let's plan my next attack. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Okay, fair enough. You let him survive. Um, damn it, I wish I had one more mana. Should I get... Can I... I can't defeat him, can I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't. Although, I probably can get this guy out. Trade off the taunt. And then, go in for the kill. There we go. GG! Motherfucker! Oh yeah. So yeah, once you get a lot of characters out with this with this hand, it is pretty nice to play with. Cool. Victory, get some gold. Nice. Maybe play another game. Okay then, I think we'll stick with our paladin deck here. Let's just jump into another game. I think that game went was pretty straightforward. I think I made a few mistakes. He made some mistakes which eventually led to him losing but there's a few cards in the deck that uh, you didn't see that are quite cool that I want to show off a bit um, maybe they'll pop up in in this game here uh, yeah as the series progresses I guess the first video I just played a few casual games now I'm gonna play a few ranked games next I'm gonna try out the arena I haven't really tried it out yet but it seems pretty cool I have to get some gold first I'm thinking of sinking some money into this game uh, I haven't yet it's still in beta. Uh, I'm going second, that's quite nice. Questing Adventure, that's a card I do like that I wanted to show off. Whenever you play a card you gain 1-1. One, one. This is quite good to play late on when you got a lot of mana and some small cards to play. Uh, should I keep the Frostwolf Warlord? I guess I can because I've got some... I've got the Harvest Golem to play if I decide to coin into it. I do want to keep this card in my deck because I do like it a lot. Let's just go ahead and leave it at that. Uh, it's not the best starting hand, but it's okay. It's not too bad. Mm. I do like starting second, however. We're playing a hunter. Mm, not too bad. Consecration. Brilliant. Do I want to do anything? No, I don't. If he's not playing any minions, I'll just chill. I'll chill out until I can play my harvest golem, maybe. What are you doing here? You're just going to attack me. Brilliant. I can take that. Not too, not too shabby. Do I want to coin into Harvest Golem? Do I want to coin into Harvest Golem? Or do I just want to wait it out? I think I'll just wait it out. I'll keep the coin for now because it com might come in handy. If he's not playing any minions, I don't really have anything to worry about. If he keeps attacking me, I don't really, I don't really care. But he does have three mana. He could play something nice here. What we got? Something with charge? No, arcane shot. Alright, whatever. And he's just gonna attack me. Okay. I can handle that. This is early, some early damage. I'll just take it in the face. And I'll play my Harvest Golem here. And end my turn. And maybe next we will see what we can do. Maybe we'll, we can coin into Silver and Knight. Maybe that'll be a good play. Oh, what was that? I didn't even see. Uh... What do you do? Deadly shot. Oh, he used that on that? Really early on? That was a bit silly. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. 
We can coin into Silverhand Knight. That might be a really good play, actually. And then we can play that next. Um, let's go ahead and do that, actually. I think this is quite a good play. Uh, I'm not, not sure. It might be. <laughs> Who knows? Let's go ahead and attack him here. And end our turn. Fantastic. Got a bit of a card advantage, I think. Or it's equal? Is it equal? I think it's equal. I do have a big board advantage here. Whenever you summon a beast, draw a card. Okay, not too scary. Taunt card coming out. Fair enough. And I think that's it. Mend your turn, buddy. What am I going to do? I could use Consecration and then trade out for that. Uh, or I could play a Taunt card and you'll have to attack it with the Grizzly. And then we'll just trade off this for that and then we can attack him. Um, or we can play our Warlord and get a nasty card. I am gonna think I'm going to play a Taunt card here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get a Taunt card out. He will have to attack it next round. I'm going to leave the bear alone. Uh, there is a way I can keep this alive, however. No, there isn't. Uh, oh shit, I can't attack. I have to attack the bear. I am so stupid. I am so stupid. Uh, fuck. Uh, let's go ahead and attack with the knight. We can keep him alive. It'll be a 4-1, however. That's not desirable. Although we still maintain a bit of a board advantage. And we got a taunt card out, which is nice. I'm going to keep hold of the Blessing of Might uh, to put on something later on, I think. And we'll just, we'll just end our turn there. Ah, that was a mistake, wasn't it? I keep... I don't know why I keep forgetting I have to attack a taunt card. I'm so stupid. All the uh, comments are going to be like, oh, you idiot. What do we have here? Someone two. Wow, nice. Nice card. If only there was a way I could uh, silence that card. I could, however, put a Blessing of Might on that and trade it off. That would be a bit silly though, I think. Um, or I could... Let's see here. Let me think, Let me think indeed. What am I going to do? 4, 4, that be 6. And I can trade that with that. That will survive. Yep, let's go ahead and do that. This is probably the smartest thing to do here. Get rid of him. We can play... We can just get a Silver Hand Knight out, I think. Let's trade off one of these. And go straight for his hero. Put a bit of pressure on. Okay, not the, not the most fantastic thing to do. I, I, do, I don't like my board at the moment. It's looking kind of weak. Although, I, should, I, could, pl I could have played that to deal with the Hyenas. Because he's just going to kill off my taunt card. Brilliant. Hmm. I'm not liking this, I'm not liking this. Wow. Nice. He got a pretty, not very good card though. I could just take care of it. And he's gonna go straight for me. Alright. What do I want to do now? What do I want to do now? That is a nice card to get. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I can play that as well as... Let's go ahead and use Consecration and just wipe his board. I'm gonna have to do that, aren't I? And then we'll play the raid leader. And we'll attack him for a 7. Not too bad. We still maintain our board advantage, card advantage. He's low on health now. It's looking quite good. It's looking quite good. If we can get our Silverhand Knight, our Stormwind Champion out next, that'll be good. Although he's just gonna arcane shot that. That's a good play. Um, hmm. I don't like this card. It's a pretty shit card. Because I can just ignore it pretty much. Unless he gets a few buffs. But I don't think he's got many buffs in his hand. And I can go ahead and play... Hmm. The que Questing Adventure. And then Fossil Warlord maybe? Or maybe I can do... Dragonlin Mechanic and then Questing Mechanic. Or I can just get the Stormwind Champion out. What am I going to do here? Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy out. And then my Warlord. There we go. Fantastic. We got a bit of Port of Angel. We'll just attack him as well. 
We'll just ignore the snap jump. Yeah. I mean, this guy is pretty useless unless you manage to buff him. I mean, he's probably got one or two buffs there, but I'm not. Ooh, a secret! It's hidden until we activate it. Let's see here. Give a friendly 2 2 and taunt. Okay, so he has buffed it. <laughs> Holy shit. It's not a bad card now, is it? If only I had something to just put it back in his hand or something. How's a strange trade there? Because I can put that up and still have my Frostwolf Warlord survive. We got a nice taunt card, however. This could work out for us here. E I do need to, to get rid of uh, Snapjaw, however. Um, three attack. Let me think. Let's go ahead and get this guy out. And then we'll have to... We'll have to take care of him. And then we can trade this off for that. We, he will still survive, however. Although, do we have lethal? Five, seven... Yeah, we got lethal, I think. There we go. Let's buff him up to a nine, and then boom. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well. I think we still... Yeah, we still kill him. Yeah, that was pretty good again. I'm liking this deck, man. I'm loving the the cards. Wow, we're up to 19. Not, not, not too shabby, not too shabby.